I ask this question all the time. Well, I'll ask, I'll ask you guys. Did you study in high school? Occasionally. <laughs> <laughs> why, did you, why did you even do it occasionally, Brian? Because I needed to get a good grade. That's what I said. Why'd you need a good grade? To get out of high school. I studied in high school so I could play football, drive a car, and date. Hmm. Okay? No, then I went to college. <coughs> studied in college so I didn't end up in the infantry in Vietnam. Okay? Because back then, if you flunked out of college, you went to Vietnam. Then I went to graduate school. I studied there so I wouldn't have to get a real job. <coughs> And then I got out of school and I said, well, shit, I don't have to study anymore. That's so wrong. Just, uh, I tell your salespeople, the study that they do now will pay a hundred times the dividends that the studying they did in high school pay them. This isn't a complicated business, but it's not an easy business either. Sales skills are difficult to develop. Jason, how many natural sales people do we find out there? 10% of them. If, okay? Most of the good sales people I know have developed themselves, developed their skills. And most of the good sales people I meet around the country are, are self-taught, all right? Let's face it, we don't do, I mean, the retail car business, whether it's ALM or Galpin out in LA or Clay Cooley in Dallas or Courtesy in Lafayette, Louisiana, all of them, all of you and them are superb organizations. But there's no real culture of training. <coughs> I know how tough your job is. Have you don't have time to train eight hours a week. I know you'd like to, I know, but you don't have time. Most managers don't. 